What you are looking at is not a fantasy mystical location, but rather a fascinating geologic oddity. In central eastern China are a series of more than 3,100 pillars which tower as much as 300 meters or 1,000 feet out of the ground and have sheer cliffs approaching 90 degrees. Due to the area's frequent rainfall, when clouds or fog roll in, it can often give the false appearance that many of these pillars are floating above the clouds. This awe-inspiring site was used as the basis for a certain 2009 blockbuster film and many levels in various video games. Although somewhat similar to highly unusual karst terrain like seen in the Philippines, these pillars are not made out of limestone. Instead, the thousands of pillars found in John Jeje National Forest Park are made out of the quartz-rich sandstone. So, how did these fascinating pillars form? The story of these pillars began 440 million years ago when this section of what is now China was the site of a sand-rich shoreline. Over millions of years, runoff from mountains and compaction of sand at the shoreline formed a thick layer of sandstone. Towards the end of the Silurian period, a rift zone developed in the adjacent deep ocean, causing the crust to spread apart to the north and south. In addition to this, sea level changes caused what was previously a shoreline to instead be the site of a continental shelf. Highly eroded fragments of plutonic rock were then transported out of the mountains and through abundant erosion became heavily sorted until largely only quartz crystals remained. Over time, these quartz crystals compacted into quartz sandstone, which created a layer hundreds of meters thick. The sea level slowly fell towards the end of this period, and coral reefs formed on top of the existing sandstone layer. When this coral died, it left behind abundant carbonate rock, which solidified to become limestone. Due to a combination of uplift and falling sea levels, the rock units rose above the ocean's surface. Over millions of years, these were eroded by water via wave action to form towering sea stacks. This created numerous caves within the pillars which are today still quite visible in several of the modern pillars. Over the next several hundred million years, the area was increasingly uplifted and the top limestone layer was largely removed above the quartz sandstone. Due to tectonic stresses and erosion, numerous faults, cracks, and joints formed in the landscape which experienced heightened levels of erosion. Many of these cracks were near vertical and occurred alongside slightly more erosion-resistant patches of ground. As a result, wind and the interaction of water slowly created a series of pillars with steep cliffs. This pattern continued until the modern day and is still continuing, forming the thousands of floating pillars that we know and love. As a whole, a good comparison to what the John J.J. pillars used to look like are the famous Twelve Apostles sea stacks in the Australian state of Victoria. If those features were to undergo the same subsequent series of events, they might eventually end up with an appearance like the John J.J. pillars. On a final note, China contains more unusual terrain via extensive limestone karst landforms. Additionally, although not as active as the Hawaiian hotspot, there is a mantle plume which powers volcanism on the island of Hainan that gives the area a chance of future eruptions occurring on the northern section of the island. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new YouTube member Yen Livingstone for supporting this channel.